Well, prostitution may be a bigger problem in the Sioux Falls area than most people realize. Police were surprised at the number of inquiries they got to an undercover ad indicating that the demand for prostitution is actually pretty high in this area. Because of this, police are changing the targets of their undercover investigations. KDLT's Miranda Page explains. We know that there's people that are traveling from city to city and they're involved with human trafficking and they stop in Sioux Falls because they know they can make money here. The Sioux Falls Police Department is trying to change this. If we can curb that demand, then hopefully we'll see less human trafficking. With reverse prostitution operations, police are seeking out those who are soliciting sex, commonly known as Johns. We had a few female officers. There were some ads that were placed on some different internet sites that are commonly used to advertise for prostitution. Recently, police arrested two men who responded to the ads. 53-year-old David Cleveringa from Sioux Center, Iowa, and 55-year-old Kevin Van Beek from Inwood, Iowa. Both arrested for hiring for sexual activity, which is a misdemeanor. Police say these arrests are just the start, as the officers received over 100 phone calls and texts with people interested in their ads. Hopefully we can reduce some of the, the demand that we have going on. Um, obviously the, the whole goal of this is to try to get those involved in human trafficking, get them out of that situation, um, find them, get them to a safe place. Michelle Margreff, executive director at the Compass Center, is happy to see police changing their focus. To put the blame where the blame should be, and that's with the Johns who are coming in and asking for money for sex rather than always saying that person's a prostitute and realizing that oftentimes they are actually victims of trafficking. The Compass Center helps around 600 victims of sexual and domestic violence a year. As Sioux Falls grows, so has the human trafficking problem. It is fairly common here. It's still very much hidden so that a lot of people don't realize it's going on. Police say they will continue to conduct these undercover operations to combat human trafficking and prostitution. In Sioux Falls, Miranda Page, KDLT News. And just like any crime, police do release the names of those arrested. Police hope knowing that alone will discourage people from soliciting sex.